Yo, what's up with it? YouTube, live from the Hall 10 with Big Earl. What's up with 6 9 and Wack 100, man? What they got going on now? <laughs> nah, but this been crazy to see, man. I feel like 6 9 is pimping the internet. I feel like he's pimping Wack right now. Yeah, I feel like he is pimping Wack 100 right now. And, uh,. It's just working for him because it's it's his way of staying relevant. For a while there, you wasn't even hearing about Six Nine. Nobody was talking about Cud because his music had his music was no longer relevant. Like everybody was looking at you like a rat, so it was nothing. His relevance wasn't it wasn't there for a while. He was even talking about getting out the game and all this type of shit. You tell Cud was going through some mental shit. You know what I'm saying and um. I feel like this nigga sit back and he masterminded a way for him to be relevant again. You know what I mean? And it worked. It worked. Everywhere you turn on YouTube, everywhere you turn on Facebook, or every, anything, you 6 9 Whack 100. Whack 100 gets into it with 21 Savage. Whack 100 gets into it with Jimmy Jones. And the common denominator and all these altercations is Danny. 6 9 man. He's making the situation work for him. How did he make his name off chaos, off bullshit? And that's what they got going on right now, so it's gonna continue to make his name. It ain't got nothing to do with Wack or Jim. He talking about Jim being an informant and all this type of shit, like, you gotta show paperwork on there, brother. You, you gotta show paperwork, and I'm pretty sure niggas been letting check this paperwork where he from. You know how that go, man. You gotta show paperwork on that before you make a, a bold statement like that. You feel what I'm saying? And, and you know how people are looking at Wack 100 sitting down with 6 9 With 6 9 being an informant for the federal, um, for the federal bureau and, and for the police and all that shit, you sit down with him being a street dude, being from. Piru, OG from Piru, you sat down with a known rat. A nigga who told on some nine trade blood members, like, so you have to see how that looks on the outside, brother. You know what I'm saying? You gotta see that. You sat down with him. A lot of dudes ain't been touching him, they've been in this prison because he's federal. He, he's federal, bro. He's protected. They knocked this nigga off, they, they gone. Like everything they work for is gone over a rat. You feel what I'm saying? And that shit is gonna happen in due time. So you sit down with him, it's like you big brothered him. Whack, so it's making it look like that. And that's why people having so much confusion with that because they looked at you in a um, much different light than that. You know what I mean? I know I did anyway. I still, you know, I still listen to you and shit. You be saying you just crazy ass dude, but uh, that shit with that. I feel like six nine is pimping the internet. I feel like that nigga six nine is pimping these dudes. I feel like six nine is just pimping the whole situation, and it's winning for him because he's back relevant, back on everybody Instagram, back on everybody social media, everything. Six nine, you did that, nigga. Once again, we live from the hall pen. I'm out.